Hi Stampers, welcome to Great Inspirations. My name is Kim Tolbert and this is another one of my videos for my Stamp Happy Holidays series. And today we're going to talk about a very classic color combination for Christmas cards and that is white and gold. And I have two cards here that I put together and neither one of them took very long and they're really easy to do. This one I just did some embossing and added some gold glimmer paper. And on this one, again, some embossing and some more of that gold glimmer paper. This one is just a regular A2 size card. It's a landscape orientation. But this one is a tent card and um, it sits up. And you put an inside sentiment instead of inside on the back and there's room to sign. There's a little mechanism in here that allows this card to stand up and the um, whatever you put in the center there, it I suspended mine on some uh, fishing line. So I thought we would walk through some of the um, techniques I used to make each of these cards. Now, don't worry if you don't have a specific stamp set or if you don't have um, glimmer paper or even embossing powder and a heat tool. You can still use the general, um, for example, this card layout. You can use that with almost any um, images, like maybe even snowflakes or little wreaths, or even little reindeer. And then this one, the tent card, you can make that and suspend anything you like in the middle, as long as it fits in whatever shape you put in the middle, be it a circle or an oval or a square. You just basically are making a little window in the card to suspend a little um, image from. So let's start with this one. Now, the thing about this, I'll show you the stamp. Not sure you'll be real, yeah, you can see it. So what I did, I stamped it multiple times with Versamark. You know, Versamark is kind of a clear sticky ink that you can then sprinkle your embossing powder over and heat set it to um, create your design. And sometimes it's really hard when you're using a clear ink to stamp and then to be able to see where to stamp it again. So what I did, I'm going to take just a piece of cardstock here. I need to move this a little. And I knew that for my layout, I was going to put my gold glimmer paper here. Now, if you don't have gold glimmer paper, maybe you have some other kind of specialty paper or some other color of um, glimmer paper, you could use that or you could just use plain cardstock or you could even use a pattern paper. But what I did, I knew I was gonna need about a half of an inch. So I just put my cardstock on my grid paper and I know that each of these little squares is one quarter of an inch. So I said, okay, this needs to go one, two. And I just put my, oops, this is a little longer. <laughs> That's okay, we'll make it work. I just put my mask, this piece of paper right here with the tape on the ends, I just put it across the cardstock. Now, if you want to put a little piece of low tack um, tape down here as well, you can do that because it would hold it in place better. But then the next thing I did, I took a very light color of ink. In this case, this is Stampin' Up, it's Pool Party. Just any light color ink that you like will work. And I inked my stamp, it's just barely there. Then I took the verse mark and inked my image. Then I line this up and I want these little strings here for the ornaments 
to be even across the top and I'm going to offset this stamp a bit because I should have started in the middle but I don't want to so I'm going to start over here on this side and just offset the stamp a little bit. Now there you can see because of the colored ink, the light colored ink, you can see where you're going to stamp next. And I'm going to do this again. Just put a little bit of ink on it. Use the Versamark. I'm just going to line up my stamp. And this was easier to do when I wasn't standing directly over it. And there we go. And then I can do that one more time. And then we'll sprinkle the, um, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to go over it with my uh, anti-static, little anti-static bag, but that'll be okay. Maybe. And there we go. And then when we um, sprinkle the embossing powder over it, See, I should have gone over it with this beforehand. So we'll see what happens. It might be a big mess, but we'll see. Get some gold embossing powder. And when you heat set it, you won't be able to see the blue ink at all. Or the pool party ink, bluish green, I guess it is. didn't turn out so bad. There's a little bit right there. I can get a brush later and uh, just brush that off, but then you will just heat set it. There's a little spot that needs, needs some. Then you would just, like I said, heat set it. That's going to bug me. And you will not see that pool party ink at all, but you will have been able to see where to put your stamp. So we'll put this away. And then as you can see, I just, I heat set this all at once. And then I came back and I stamped my Merry Christmas with the verse mark. And I put the embossing powder over it and heat set it. And then I cut my strips a half inch each, one half by five and a half, and adhered them onto the card. And it's really nice. Um, liquid glue is good because it gives you some wiggle time, but I put um, an adhesive sheet on the back of this, so I just had to peel it off, and I just, little by little, put it on my paper, or on my card. So that is how I did that one. Now we'll talk a little bit about the other card, our tent card, and I have demonstrated these before, like I said. They are not difficult at all, but they um, are a little bit different for people to receive, and I people like it because they stand up, and of course they have the little um, element in the center there that moves. So I have right here some things we're going to work with. Now this, I'll show you this stamp I used. This is the stamp. It's from um, Stampin' Up! Stamp Set that is some years old. It's from a long time ago. It's before they had the um, black and white logo. That's when they had the green logo. So I really liked this, but I wanted to do my tent card. So what I did, I stamped this this was my practice when I stamped it. And then I found some circle dies, layering circle dies. One that would pretty much cut out the center of this O. And it happened to be this one. And I think this was, uh, I think it's one and a half. Yeah, it's one and a half inches diam in diameter. So then I took a piece of cardstock, and I took, well first, I let me back up a little bit. I took my cardstock, and this cardstock 
is 11 inches by four and a quarter inches, scored and folded at five and a half. So I took that and I found, I stamped my joy and I cut out the center with the die that's about one and a half inches in diameter. Then I took a die that was a half an inch bigger in diameter. This is two and a, um, this is one and a half, this is two. Two inches. I cut a circle out with this one. And then I laid this on top of that circle and die cut it and I got the O. That I put right over this. It fit just perfectly and it hid any remains of the O that I had stamped. Because when I stamped it on the card, I did stamp it with Versamark and then embossing powder, heat set, and then I cut it. Now when I cut it, I put my card base in my die cut machine this way. Put the dies on there, and I only ran it through as far as I needed to to cut the O. I didn't let this part go through or anything down here or down here because it, if it goes over your cutting plate or anything like that, there's gonna be a crease. So just keep it, die cut it as much as you need to and bring it back. So this second card is one I made. If you say, well, I don't have that stamp and I don't have one anything like it. Well, remember last week we got out those um, alphabet dies? If you have alphabet dies, and these are two inches, just use the J and a Y. Don't use the O, just use some layering circle dies and cut out just exactly like I did for this one. And there you go. You have your joy. Now this to the world is another from another stamp set that I happen to have and I um, embossed that on there as well with the gold embossing powder. But you can put whatever you want on there. Maybe you just want it to say joy. And right here, I just to fill in some of the space, I just put some little gold pearls. So you could do other, you know, if you have other gems, if you have other little um, stamped images you could put on there, all kinds of things. Um, like I say, <laughs> I'm using what I have. And you can use what you have as well. Now, if you're in the market for some new things, sure, go out and you could buy you some Maybe you want some um, alphabet dies. Maybe you've been wanting to find a sentiment that says joy that's large. There are several out there and available. So, you know, that's up to you. Um, but this is what I did and this there, I just wanna show you some different ways you could do this. Also, if you're very um, good at lettering, you can use an embossing pen and you could letter, you could hand write your J and Y. And um, because this is, it's just embossing ink. Just put it on there, cover it over with your embossing powder, heat set it, and there you go. You have joy. You could also to the world if you have good handwriting. I can do that sometimes. Most of the time I can't. I really have to concentrate. But that's another option. Remember, there are always, always, always lots of options. And if you feel you just can't do the joy, maybe you just cut a circle and make it a wreath. Uh, maybe you cut a square and make it a window and you could have like Santa peeping out of here or a reindeer or even a snowman, a little snowman face. There's all kinds of things that you can do to make your tent card something special. So all we need is this card base that's 11 by four and a quarter, scored and folded at five and a half. Then we're gonna take another piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter by two inches. And I'm not sure you're gonna be able to, yeah, you can. I scored at one half, at one inch, and at one and one half inches. And now we're going to fold it Maybe I'll fold it this way. Get my bone folder. And 
and fold these up. We're going to make a W. Oops, didn't fold that quite right. Try again. And then we'll fold this one towards the center as well. So there is our W. That's our little mechanism that will allow it to stand. Now we'll work on the center piece here. And I have two stars that I've punched out. We're going to cut a piece of fishing line. It's just clear fishing line. This is, if it makes any difference to you, this is 14 pound fishing line. And let's see, that should be plenty. And we'll leave those right there. And this has some adhesive on the back of it. I just need to take the backing off. We'll take this fishing line. I know that's probably hard to see since it's clear. But I am going to put it just from end to end the points of this star. Well, actually, it's more three quarters of the way down. And then I'll take the backing off of this. This is going to be fun lining them all up. But we'll get it done. Get my fishing line right there where it needs to be. Okay, looks pretty good. Now, one problem I did find is my star. It's just about the same diameter as my circle, but we'll make it work. That's why this one gets stuck a little crooked sometimes. So what we're going to do is get our star in the center there, and I'm going to take some tear and tape And I'm going to put two of them. I'm going to put one right here and then one right above it. And we'll take the backings off. Going to get that right where we want it. It's right there. The fishing line is attached, and now I'm going to just put some more tear and tape over it. I'm going to put one more. Didn't exactly get that one too even, did I? Okay, and then we'll cut this off. And there's our star. And now we are ready to put our little mechanism on the bottom. Let's see what I have here. Or some adhesive. Oh, this will work. Just going to run some adhesive on this end. We still have the W. And now on this end. Open this up.
Okay. Fold it down. And there's our tech card. Super easy, but it really does. It looks, um, it's something special. <laughs> like I said, I think this needs to be just a little bit shorter of an image for inside, but I, that'll do. And then you could put some pearls on it or whatever else you like to do. So there's that card. And here is our other card that we embossed by using the light color ink with the Versamark. Now, how I made these cards, pictures of these, of these cards, and measurements for these cards will all be found on my corresponding blog post. And the link to that blog post is in the description of this video. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, stamp happy.